Let's turn on Network Discovery in Windows Server 2012 R2. So if we click on File Explorer and then click on Network, we can see that we're unable to browse our network. And that's because Network Discovery is turned off. So let's first start by right-clicking on our Start button and go to Run and type services.msc. Click OK. And we'll just expand that. What we want to do is we want to make sure that certain services are turned on. And one of those is going to be the DNS client. And we see that one's going. So if it's not going, double click on it, make sure it's set to automatic, and make sure it's set to start. Second one we want to do is the function discovery resource publication. So that one's set to manual. So let's change that to automatic. Apply and start. And the next one we want to do is SSDP. So let's go ahead and scroll down to that. And we can see that discovery is disabled. So let's go ahead and change that to automatic. And we'll start that up as well. And the last one is UPnP device host. Double click on that. Automatic, apply, start. And we're good. All right, now let's go ahead and close services. And now we can go ahead and click on this little yellow tab here and say turn on network discovery and file sharing. And there we go. It's now working. If you still have a problem after restarting, go back to those services once again, double check that they are set to automatic and started. And if they keep turning themselves off, it could be because of a group policy setting or a local policy setting that is causing them to turn back off again. So we're not going to cover that in this video, but I do have other videos on group policy as well as local security policy you can check out.